morning and welcome back to Greenstone and Ivy. A little bit fresher this morning, I think it's going to be a nice day. They forecast a little bit of sun this afternoon, but they said that yesterday and it rained, so you never know in the valley. So I don't know if you remember, about four or five weeks back now, I carved that single number slate house side for the side of your door. Well, this morning on my workbench, it's the same job, but in stone. Instead of carving a number seven, I'm going to be carving a number five. Instead of painting it black, I'm going to be painting it... No, instead of painting it white, I'm going to be painting it black. Make sure we get that the right way around. So, the video did quite well. So, I thought, why not show you how to do number five in stone? We showed you in the slate, we'll show you the stone. So, instead of... I need such a small piece of stone. I need just like... Just over four inches square, hundred mil square piece of stone. I don't want to be taking a fault if round for a piece of stone or carrying a big piece round. So I bought the trusty cordless Dewalt round. I'm going to cut it up in the uh, stone yard, and then just carry it round with me, and then we'll neaten it up on the big saw. Right, let's go. I'm back on my workbench. As you saw, um, I just roughed it out with a Dewalt saw, and then since then, I've taken it into the stone building, I've cut it down to size on the wet saw, and then I've just polished it all up, and then I put a little chamfer on it, and then I've marked it up. So it's all marked up. As I said before, it's one of my favorite numbers to carve, especially in this font, it's really nice. It's got a bit of everything. It's, you've got the curve on the bottom, the curve coming around the bottom of the five, it's a little bit thinner on the top and then it's straight with the angles in the top. So it's going to be, it's going to have a bit of everything to carve on this one, really nice, and then we're going to paint it black. Next job is just going to sharpen the chisels up. I've selected my chisels, I've gone for a, an 8mm, a 4mm and a 3mm, and then I do have a 4mm which has got been sharpened on a bit of an angle. You're never meant to sharpen your chisels on an angle, but I sacrifice this one because sometimes it's nice just to have that different angle. Just when I'm carving in, it's something I personally like to do. So they're always pretty much sharp, but I'm just gonna just tickle them up, just to get that extra. It's, I think it's just one of the things I do at the beginning of every job, just make sure they're always sharp and ready to go. So I'll do that now, and then I'll get my safety specs on, AirPods in, new podcast, and we'll get going.
that's it another one complete i'm just going to leave this to one side let it dry out and then let it go to its new home i enjoyed that like i said number five is one of my favorite numbers to carve it works really well especially on this piece of derbyshire grit it's 20 mil thick when that's hung next to the door it'll look really nice i hope you've enjoyed this video i appreciate your time watching and i'll see you next time